could Randy Orton be retiring? Could he have delivered his last dose of venom? Could we never see an RKO in a WWE ring or any ring for that matter ever again? I hope not, but it looks like he may have a nasty injury to say the least. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling with some breaking news on Randy Orton. Now, as you may have noticed, Randy Orton hasn't really been wrestling at all a lot recently. In his whole feud with the Bloodline, it's been Riddle having the matches and I was wondering why are they doing this? I mean, yeah, I get that Orton's older than Riddle and Orton's wanting maybe to less a wee bit less, but I thought it was weird that it was continuously Riddle that was having the matches while Orton wasn't doing anything. Well, now it looks like Orton is set to have a lot of time away from the WWE to deal with injuries and these injuries sound pretty serious. The WWE posted a, a blog or whatever posted a statement saying that Randy Orton is currently undergoing consultations with neurosurgeons and orthopedic spine surgeons to determine the extent of his injury and to recommend course of treatment. Now, with, 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 like with spine injuries, if they're really getting like neurosurgeons in and orthopedic spine surgeons in to determine, like to me that says that this injury is pretty serious. Maybe Orton could be looking at potentially getting some sort of surgery, uh, getting opened up in order to get this treatment. I, I don't think it's going to be uh, Orton's, you know, gone for a couple of weeks and then he'll be back. I mean, this sounds like Orton could miss the foreseeable future on WWE, maybe maybe even miss the rest of the calendar year. And I don't know, if he is okay to come back eventually, could there be a Royal Rumble timeline? Could Royal Rumble be a realistic date to see Randy Orton back? Of course, it depends on the type of injury, but even the even the Riddle promo on Raw, to me, the Riddle promo kind of sounded like it was really serious, and that, you know, Riddle was, now, I know it could be kayfabe, it could be bullshitting, but, I mean, Riddle did genuinely seem a bit upset about how Randy was injured, so for me, I don't know, maybe there is more to this, maybe this could be a serious injury, and that we'll see Randy Orton miss a lot of time away from the WWE. Now, Orton did come out I believe it was earlier this year, or maybe late last year, and he said he has no plans to retire anytime soon, and that he has at least another 10 years on him. He wants to go at least another 10 years, another decade, as long as his body allows it. But this could be a case that perhaps his body isn't allowing it. I mean, if you look at Edge, Edge wasn't planning on retiring back in 2011, but unfortunately he did, albeit he has come back since then. So who knows, even maybe if Riddle is, and if Orton is somehow forced into retirement due to this injury, maybe it's something he can come back from a few years down the line, or maybe he will just have a reduced schedule. I guess you could argue at the moment Orton, I wouldn't say he's a part-timer, I'd say he is kind of there full-time, but in terms of how often he wrestles, I'm not too sure about house shows, but at least on TV, he does feel like a part-time performer where he would be on a lot of shows, but it's mostly, you know, mic work and promos and segments rather than in-ring um, competition, which is which is fair enough. I mean, the guy is 42 or whatever, you know, he's 43, um, 41 even maybe. I don't know, but it will be sad when Orton goes. I mean, a lot of people think Orton could be the guy to maybe break Ric Flair's record. Personally, I don't think I want Orton to break the record. I think Cena was, is more deserving of breaking the record. But I would like to see Orton in the title picture more. I mean, he is a main event, or he is a legit main event, or in my opinion, he should be up there. He should have had a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you know, a one-on-one -on -one feud with Roman Reigns, I think, at least by now. And it will be sad when Orton goes. He's legit, like, I mean, we pretty much don't have anyone from the Attitude Era left. It's been a while so I, I, I understand we've had like Triple H and Undertaker, but really they haven't been full-time performers now for like well, well not well over a decade, but close to a decade. It's been pretty close to a decade where Triple H and Undertaker were, you know, performing regularly. And by regularly, I mean even just like maybe three, four, five, six times a year. So it's been a while since we've seen that for Take on Triple H. Uh, obviously the Ruthless Aggression era, there has been some people like Sigler that, you know, were pretty much jobbers or The Miz kind of debuted it. Um, you know, towards the end of the Ruthless Aggression era. I'm not talking about people like that, though. I'm thinking, when I think more along the lines of, like, you know, the stars for the Ruthless Aggression era, you're thinking of the Batistas, the Cenas, and the Randy Ortons, and, and like, Randy Orton does seem to be uh, the, the last one 
from that error. I mean, yeah, Cena will come back. Cena will have the odd match. But, you know, in terms of a full-time competitor, I do think Cena's done. What I would like, though, I mean, I know this video's about Randy Orton. I would actually like to see Cena maybe clear his schedule for one year. And I would like to see Cena have one last, you know, full-time run and give him the belt. Let Cena break the 17-time, you know, Ric Flair record. Why not have Cena come back? And I would love to see Cena. I, I say Cena dethrone Roman Reigns, but I'm, I'm hoping Roman Reigns still doesn't have the title that far down the line. But no, I mean, I would like to see Cena come back have one more full-time run, and uh, yeah, I would personally give Cena the belt, but as for Randy Orton, I think there's definitely an odd title run in Randy Orton, so hopefully this isn't the end, hopefully uh, the injury isn't serious, and if it is serious, hopefully he can come back for it, guys, because in my opinion, WWE product's a lot better with Randy Orton in it, so uh, yeah, I mean, that's it, but here, if Randy Orton is going to be it for the foreseeable future, it gives Riddle a chance to shine, as a singles guy, because let's be honest, RK Bro, I mean, it's been an entertaining tag team, but I think it's went as far as it can go. Realistically, it's not a tag team, they're not the Dudley boys, they're not the Hardy boys. It's not never a tag team that was going to go four or five years or, you know, <laughs> ten years. Randy Orton was never going to finish his career as Riddle's tag team partner. It was only a matter of time before, you know, these two split up. So maybe it's good that it's happened. Probably not the way you thought it would happen. Probably always thought this would lead to, a, like, a feud between the two, Randy Orton turning and heel. But, I mean, who knows? They can perhaps do that down the line. But it be interesting to see what Riddle's capable of. But, yeah, hopefully Randy gets better. Hopefully the injury isn't serious. And, uh, yeah, I hope to see Randy Orton back on WWE television sometime soon. But uh, don't count on it. Anyway, guys, that is it for Fog Wrestling. Let us know what you think down below. Do you think this is a serious injury? Do you think Randy Orton might have to retire? Do you want to see Randy Orton retire? Or do you think Randy Orton still has a lot left to offer the company? I do. And I want to see Randy Orton back and in the title picture. Anyway, guys, that is it. Till next time, been Fog Wrestling. Peace.